If you're familiar with my YouTube channel, you know that I absolutely love horror movies, horror games, and it's one of my favorite genres, guys, without a doubt. And with that being said, when the talks and then the trailer came out for Rainbow Six Extraction, I got really, really excited, guys, because there is a lot here, and I definitely want to dive right into it with all of you, because this is quickly becoming one of my most anticipated titles of the future. I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below, and let's have a real conversation about it. Let's get into it. So in an article, guys, written by Morgan Park of PC Gamer, what we know about Ubisoft's Siege spinoff, including the release date and hands-on impressions. It's been a long time coming, but Rainbow Six Extraction, not Quarantine or Parasite as it was once titled, which is really weird. I, I was always wondering, why did they change it to Extraction and not Quarantine when it was Quarantine all along? And by the way, guys, I've made a number of videos and, and content around this title, Rainbow Six Quarantine, Rainbow Six Extraction. You guys can check out all of that here on the YouTube channel. It's finally on its way, though. We first heard about the game at E3 2019 in two full years of silence. Ubisoft re-debuted the game at its E3 2021 Ubisoft Forward show. It's got a lot of good Siege stuff players love, like returning operators, destruction, precise gunplay, and gadgets, plus a boatload of alien zombies that are pretty gross to look at. So, here we go. The best part is that we don't have to wait very long to play it ourselves. Extraction is dropping later this year with three player co-op missions that Ubi hopes will keep you busy for a long time. So the release date. So as announced by Ubisoft during E3 2021, Rainbow Six Extraction is releasing September 16th on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. What is it? So Rainbow Six Extraction is Ubisoft's take on the recently reignited co-op zombie shooter genre similar to Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood. It's three-player co-op and has no PvP element, but it can be played solo if you so desire. The game is built on the same framework as the PvP game Rainbow Six Siege, which means everything from the guns, movement, and in-game tools will feel familiar if you played the game. So... The first thing that's a real bummer to me is that this is only co-op. You can play single player, but there's no multiplayer. And that's extremely unfortunate to me uh, just because, guys, I know we've got Rainbow Six Siege that we can play from a multiplayer perspective, but I feel like this title should definitely have multiplayer um, in some capacity or another. If you're going to purchase this title, I just feel like it needs to be a full package. And you know me, I, when I say that, I always talk about the big three, that being, of course, having a single player story, multiplayer modes, as well as co-op. This having just co-op and obviously single player as well that you can play is great. But what happens after you beat those co-op missions, after you do that stuff together, they're hoping that it's going to keep you busy for a long time. But what happens if it doesn't? That's the big question. So... Um, obviously, guys, they've had a couple of you know cinematic tra uh, trailers as well as some hands-on discussions, which you guys should definitely check out. So missions are partially procedurally generated. So Rainbow Six Extraction is not a procedurally generated game, but it, but bits and pieces of its missions are. Each mis mission is broken up into three sub-map areas, each with its own objective. The layouts of the 12 total maps do not change, but the order in which you play them does. Loads of other details are also randomized, like which objectives you'll be assigned, where on the map they're located, and which alien zombie types will try to stop you. So the operators, this is really exciting too. So far, it looks like all the Rainbow Six Extraction's operators will carry over from Siege. We had access to nine operators in a hands-on demo, but there will be a total of 18 in at launch. Got Sledge, Bonnet, Ela, Pulse, Doc, Lion, Alibi, Finca, Vigil, Cap uh, Capiteo, IQ, Tachanka, and Nomad. Awesome. Super excited. Those are all of the operas that are obviously playable, but there are a few others seen in cutscenes and cinematics that may or not be playable as well. Ash, Thermite, and Mira. Um, the different mission types, guys, this is what's also, you know, something that's really interesting. We only got to see a few of Extraction's mission types in action during our hands-on preview, but Ubi went into details about how all 11 will work. Players have a chance of getting assigned any of these objectives when loading into a mission. The only exception is the No One Left Behind mission, which is apparently a guaranteed objective if one of the players currently has an MIA operator. Specimen, decontamination, nest tracking, triangulation, serial scan, hunt, rescue, No One Left Behind, shutdown, 
and uh, sabotage and biopsy pretty awesome names to say the least as far as the mission types are so just as an example specimen you lead a parasite to an extraction zone and capture it alive decontamination you find and gather samples from contaminated parasite nests nest tracking is sneak up to uh, and plant trackers on inactive nests without being detected. So all these are just a little bit different in the strategy you take. Some of them kind of remind me a little bit of maybe like Splinter Cell where you got to use some stealth and such. That's pretty exciting as well. There's a lot of different alien parasites as well and different types. So you got nests, grunt, bloater, spiker, breacher, sower, rooter, lurker, sticky spores, and sludge. I mean, guys, there's so many different names that are coming out. More and more of these games that come out, you're coming up, they're coming up with all kinds of names. It's awesome, though, that you have all these different, you know, enemy types. That's really cool. So cross-play and cross-progression. So like pretty much every Ubisoft game nowadays, Rainbow Six Extraction will support both cross-play and cross-progression. Its six-year-old PvP cousin, Rainbow Six Siege, is also getting cross-play on consoles this year, but PC players won't be joining the party. Ubi didn't mention a similar restriction for extraction. So, so it's safe to assume PC players and console players will be able to group up. So here's my here's my big my my big takeaways, guys, from Rainbow Six Extraction. Yes, it's one of my most anticipated games for sure of you know the future of this year. But some things kind of hold me back from being like, you know, just all out so excited about it because, you know, it doesn't have multiplayer. It doesn't have those PB, PvP elements. I mean, this looks like a game that would be absolutely awesome. You know, having almost like a horde mode like Gears of War does where you're playing waves and waves of enemies, that would be really cool. Um, I just think having a full package is really important. Now, they talk about these mission types. The question is, is this is a full-blown story? Because I'm hoping it has like a real overarching story kind of like Resident Evil or something where we kind of learn and start to understand you know how this ties into the Rainbow Six universe it'll be interesting guys um to say the least I'm very excited about it uh even you know the landscape of these types of games when you look at obviously Left 4 Dead they, it's literally being left behind at this point because Back 4 Blood is coming into the fray you got Rainbow Six Extraction you got a number of games coming out guys that are Definitely trying to take the throne from Left 4 Dead. We'll see if they're successful. But, you know, I do have concerns. But overall, I'm really excited about this title. What do you guys think, though? Are you guys excited about this title? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's have a real conversation about it. And for more Rainbow Six Extraction content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.